Hey guys, welcome to John Anthony Lifestyle. I am John Anthony, an international dating coach who spent the past 10 years of his life optimizing and perfecting the best dating system in the world. Okay, how can I say that? How can I make that claim? Okay, I personally have slept with over 1,250 girls across 30 different countries all around the world. Okay, I've helped thousands of men, okay, given large conference talks all over the world, okay, recorded all kinds of hidden camera interactions with women, okay. I want to show you guys in a very quick and easy presentation, okay, it's less than 30 minutes, how you can go from zero or wherever you're at to becoming extremely, extremely advanced, okay, in an expert level with women, okay. I'm going to show you the three main steps of my system. I'm going to break them down and show you how you can start getting these results today, okay. So you're going to learn a lot in under 30 minutes, okay, and I'm going to give you my background as well and how the system came to be uh, where it is today and why it works so well, okay. So without further ado, Here's the presentation. Enjoy. Everyone is selling the dream. They all say girls can magically throw themselves at you without you having to do any work. Most of it is honestly bullshit. Let me ask you this. How would you like to attract and sleep with two, five, even 10 beautiful women on demand every single month while being able to predict success with girls down to the number of girls and the day? You should have said yes to that, of course. And that would be great. That's serious success of women if you can do that. Okay, the only problem is most people have no idea how to do any of that and they're listening to the wrong people and the wrong people are screwing them over. Okay, guys, so here are three big fires that need to be put out to start dating beautiful women. The first one is knowing how to approach a woman in public. The second one is knowing exactly how to interact with her to generate attraction quickly. And the third one is knowing how to close the deal. If you can do all of those three things, you can start dating beautiful women with predictability. It's as simple as that. The problem is, for each one of these fires, there are a million possible extinguishers, and some of these extinguishers, most of them in fact, except for one of them, all have gasoline in them. So which one do you choose? You should spray this liquid on the fire. It's either gasoline or the liquid that puts out the fire. Maybe this course, this dating course will help me do it. Oops, nope, that's gasoline. Didn't help me put out the fire. What about this YouTube video? Oh, this YouTube video will definitely help me have successful women. Nope, gasoline. Oh, this ebook is a solution. Nope, made it worse. The truth is, guys, only men with a predictable system for meeting, attracting, and closing beautiful women can say this. When I use my system, my extinguisher, the fires go out and I get hot girls. Hello, my name is John Anthony and I'm the guy with the extinguisher, okay? I have the predictable system to meet, attract, and close five, even ten beautiful women on demand every single month while being able to predict with predictability down to the number of girls in the week. And I know everyone says they have the system, they've got the juice, they've got the sauce, Okay, I'm going to show you in this next 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, how to do this right now and let you know that I know what I'm talking about. I'm the dude with the fire extinguishers. I've got the goods. Sorry about it. <laughs> I actually know what I'm doing. I'm going to show you guys the only three steps that you will ever need to be successful in your dating life. Okay, approach a beautiful woman using my eight principles that are guaranteed to send women into an attraction frenzy. Approach with the eight principles, use insanely simple seduction techniques, and then implement the right systems and processes to close women on autopilot so you can actually have a life, okay? And it's important to have a life, guys. And some of you are probably thinking, who the hell, who is this John Anthony guy, and why the hell should I listen to him? All right, and rightfully so. There are all these idiots on the internet. Why should I listen to this guy? And that's a really good question. So let me share a quick story. It'll only take five seconds. My name is John Anthony. I'm a world-renowned dating coach from New York City, but I've lived all over the world and trained thousands of men. I went from a nerdy 18-year-old virgin to sleeping with my 100th girl by age 28 and more than 1,000 women by the age of 35. So in May of 2006, this was me, all right? I was a shy and scared nerd who was in math and chess club, day traded stocks, and played the violin. I was terrified to talk to women and had lots of nervousness and social anxiety, all right? It really sucked. By the end of university, I'd only slept with two women, and they were both below average, okay? Not my finest moments. <laughs> By June of 2007, I was working on nuclear, biological, and chemical missile defense systems for the United States government. I have a very hyper-analytical, systematic mind that allows me to quickly master skill games like chess and poker. I was using these superpowers to keep Americans safe against enemy nuclear attacks and also to become a world-class professional poker player. I know I look happy here, I'm smiling there, but those were tough times, right? I could barely get out of bed. I just wasn't happy or fulfilled deep down because I didn't have a beautiful woman who adored me that I so desperately longed for. I had no direction, I had no purpose. I dreaded returning to my apartment alone or seeing guys in public with beautiful women. Why couldn't I be like them and have what they have? Okay, sound familiar guys? And then one day after winning first place in a poker tournament, I treated some friends to drinks all night at the bar. We talked to a lot of women that night and were constantly and pretty much harshly rejected. Okay, it was pretty brutal. I returned home with my best friend and we were both so sad and frustrated. I just had enough of it, right? 
I told him that there must be a better way. There must be a method to the madness. I figured it wouldn't be so lonely and unfulfilled if I just had a bunch of hot women in my life. All right? I'm sure a lot of you guys have been there. I decided to redirect my analytical and optimization superpowers to attraction and seduction with the goal of developing mastery and far beyond. I started off in 2009 by reading some of the most popular seduction and attraction manuals that were out there. I devoured anything and everything dating related and neatly organized and categorized it all in my mind. I was able to digest and synthesize the information like a computer, and I immediately started seeing patterns, flowcharts, and diagrams in male to female interaction. All right, that's just how my mind works, guys. Now, by June of 2012, even with all the obstacles and tough lessons I had to learn, I had slept with over 100 different women. All right, I had made solid progress, but I knew I could not reach the highest levels of success of women by myself. That's when I became very actively involved in the seduction community, regularly posting technical breakdowns of social interactions on the top forums and meeting other aspiring seducers. I quickly became a superstar in the top seduction forums, and in January 2013, I was handpicked to be part of an exclusive elite group of the top 30 seduction experts in the world. Okay? I vacuumed up all the knowledge and skills from each of these elite guys on that group and found the common overlap in key areas. Now, this combined with rigorous practice and testing gave birth to the foundation of the system that I still use today. Okay, so I had slept with over 150 girls by January of 2013. By March, it had gone crazy, and I quit my missile defense job and decided to become a full-time dating coach. Okay, you can see some of the women I dated. It was fantastic. All right, I was living in exciting places like Vegas, Miami, London, L.A., Poland, Ukraine, Portugal, Puerto Rico, China, Colombia, Toronto, etc. I slept with and dated models, actresses, Playboy centerfolds, Instagram models, beauty pageant winners, you name it. Okay, all because I had the dating skills to do so, right? Now, this is all over the world. I had this amazing girlfriend in Vegas, this other amazing girlfriend in Puerto Rico, another in Portugal. I'm going through this fast because I want to get to the meat of this, guys. But basically, I slept with tons of hot chicks all over the globe. I was seeing this one model. I ended up ending things with her because I realized I couldn't deal with jealousy and drama every freaking second. All right? Now, this is an international supermodel. Come on. She was so annoying that I actually broke up with her. Okay? She told me that no guy ever drops her because she was so hot. But all this stuff happened to me in the past 10, whatever, past decade. Okay? Now, I've currently slept with 1,189 different women and was averaging over 100 new per year. This is a fact. This is all over the internet. This is on my YouTube channel, whatever, all right? This was my seduction mastery journey, right? All those years, I was a lonely, shy nerd. And that day after the poker tournament, I made a promise to change everything and go down a different path, all right? And now, and fast forward all these years to today, I've slept with over 1,000 different women. I mean, just look at this, guys. I'm not making this stuff up. This isn't some scam. Imagine where you could be in one year. I was an insecure virgin who was hopeless with the opposite sex, and now I'm here and I get any woman I want, and I'm currently dating multiple stunning women. Imagine where you could be. And that's not just me, guys. Like, I've had students that have done, look at this, lonely, divorced 45-year-old to sleeping with girls in their low 20s and over 50 girls total. Okay, Loris Minetti, he emailed me this down here. He literally slept with only one woman the year before he started working with me, and now he has multiple young, stunning girls that he regularly sees. All right, and he gets three new women per month. All right, Rick Sue. He had been trying to master seduction techniques for a long time before he came to me. He had always felt insecure because of his height and his ethnicity. Okay, that's a common one. I helped him break through all his mental blocks, and he took home a beautiful woman way taller than him on the first day of working with me. All right, and that girl turned out to be a virgin, which is kind of funny. He started off having been with three girls in his life total. He was already dating some. Okay, he came to me, and he gets five new girls per month now. This guy, Peter, he came to me as a virgin in a wheelchair. All right, I was a little reluctant to take him on as a client, but... Take a look here, guys. I always tell my students not to handicap themselves with negative self-talk. And this guy was literally handicapped. All right, we started from scratch. And I've worked with him all the way through. I'm not kidding, guys. He actually had only approached four random girls in his whole life. Now, on bad months, he gets one new girl. And on normal months, he gets three. All right, this shows that literally anyone can make a positive transformation in my system. All right, if he can do it in a wheelchair, then any of you guys can definitely do it too, okay? Krishna is a successful hedge fund manager. But despite making a lot of money with business, he was very insecure about himself and his value to women. All right, he'd only been with 20 girls before our training, but most were mediocre and he wanted more girls and higher quality girls. Okay, can some of you relate to this? Okay, but check out this video where he's dancing with a hot girl and I motioned for him to kiss the girl. All right, here you have a guy that went from no success to being able to make out with and take home beautiful women. Fast forward to today and he has been with over 200 different women and is living his dream life. All right, Jason Davis, client in his mid-30s, was looking for a serious relationship. Before he started working with me, he felt that he had never had much choice to pick the women that he actually wanted. Instead, he would settle for whatever he could get, which wasn't a whole lot, all right? He didn't want to end up marrying some average or below average woman, all right? This is a lot of our fears. It's my own personal fear. Uh, still not married currently, but listen to what his results are now, 
So what he realized was he had to date a bunch to work his way up to improve his dating skills. Okay, and also the value that he brought to the table. He didn't expect to sleep with so many different new girls, but that was part of his evolution. And now he has many options. He ended up settling down with a beautiful girlfriend that he has amazing chemistry with. All right, and that's really cool. Now, the last one I'm going to show you is really impressive. This guy went from being a virgin at age 22 to 47 new girls within only six months after starting his training with me. And the crazy part is he told me it could have been much higher if he had more time to go out. Apparently, he was fairly busy with other stuff besides girls in those six months, and he still was able to absolutely crush it. This is super powerful stuff, guys. This guy was a freaking virgin and turned into a rock star with women almost overnight. All right. Now, my training has resulted in 45 marriages, 824 girlfriends, and over 10,000 dates that have been going on. Okay. And our community together has slept with over 8,000 women around the world. And that's just what guys are reporting to me. So it could even be much higher. But enough about me, guys. This is how you guys can do this. I want to show you guys how you can do it too, okay? We all see beautiful girls every week, right? It's important to understand that you must approach or open these girls to have any shot at having them in your life, all right? You guys need to realize right now that your odds with a girl are 0% if you do not talk to her, okay? So chickening out on approaching or hesitating or coming up with negative beliefs are all going to contribute to making your chances with that girl 0%. There's no way around that. So instead, go up to her right away and say you're opener. So you might be thinking at this point, Okay, I understand the importance of approaching girls I see in order to have any chance of having them come into my life, but I feel anxiety or fear when I consider approaching a female stranger in public. Maybe you worry she might reject you, or that you'll look stupid, or that other people will notice, or that she has a boyfriend, and on and on. Okay, can you guys relate to this? Or there may not even be a good reason, and you may just feel this fear of opening. This is what is referred to as approach anxiety. The good news is, I have a solution for you. Alright guys, you need to treat the approach anxiety like you would treat a pebble in your shoe. It's there, but you ignore it. Okay, guys? Even the best guys in seduction still feel it. Even I still feel it after having slept with over a thousand women. So don't let it stop you. It's part of our outdated programming in our brains. Don't let it immobilize you and prevent you from taking action. Okay, guys? You usually aren't going to make it go away, so you have to train yourself to ignore it and follow my method and advice. So next time you feel the approach anxiety, ignore it and approach immediately, which brings us to the three-second rule. When you see a girl you want to approach, how quickly should you go in? Preferably, you should go in immediately, but you should wait no longer than three seconds. Now, this is referred to as the three-second rule. You have a maximum of three seconds from the time you see a girl you want to talk to until the time that you open her. Okay, now, this is really important. It should be noted that communication is broken down like this, guys. 7%, only 7% of what we communicate is through words. 23% is through tone of voice. And the whopping lion's share, 70%, of what we communicate is through body language. So what you're actually saying is not nearly as important as how you're saying it. Now, remember, getting two girls per month is easy. Take Brian Lewis, for example. He gets two new girls per week, okay? One of my clients, one of my students. It's not that hard to get two new girls a month, guys, okay? So now I'm going to go through some of the main pillars of opening. There are eight total, but we're only gonna cover four of them today in the interest of time, okay? So the first one, to start off, be physical. Okay, when you open, you want to make sure you are being physical in some way. The reason for this is because there are two types of interactions. First, there are platonic friendly interactions where the two of you are just exchanging conversational information and there's no frame of it being a potentially romantic or sexual interaction. Okay, this is how you get friend zoned. None of us want to be friend zoned, right guys? All right. Second, there are man to woman interactions where you are communicating that you are interested in her as more than friends, namely in a romantic or sexual way. Physicality during your opener is a great way to set the man to woman frame. Okay, guys? Being physical is also a good way to cut the space between the two of you as you interact so that you guys are closer, which further cements the man to woman frame. So the next pillar that I want to talk about is vocal tonality. Remember, 23% of what we communicate is through vocal tonality. When you say your opener, and also when you're interacting with her, there are three different types of tonality that you can use. All right, number one, rising intonation. This type of intonation sounds like you're asking a question and it is low value. Okay, it's kind of people pleasing. There's a rising inflection at the end of your sentences. Okay, so this is how it sounds to talk in rising intonation. Okay, guys? Okay. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Okay, don't do this. Okay. Number two, flat intonation. This type of intonation sounds robotic and conveys no emotion at all. Imagine how a robot would talk. All right. Number three, this is the one where you want to be at. This is called commanding tonality. This is the way you want to speak. It is commanding and dominant. It has a downward inflection at the end of each sentence. Okay. This is what it sounds like to talk with commanding tonality. Hey, I'm John. I want to meet you real quick. What's your name? This is how you want to be speaking to women. Okay, guys. Now, this brings us to the next pillar, which is what you say does not matter. 
Now remember, 7% of what we communicate is through what we actually say. Therefore, what you say does not matter very much. Words are simply a tool for expressing your personality through your tonality, facial expressions, and body language. Since what you say does not matter that much, you should say whatever comes to mind when you open. What you say can be as simple as, hi, I'm John, okay? It is also okay to have a go-to opener that you use every time, as long as it's not flashy or weird, okay? I typically use, hi, can I meet you real quick? Now, the last pillar I wanted to cover is how to deal with the girl's friends in her group. Hot girls, or girls in general for that matter, rarely travel alone. So how should you deal with their friends? All right, first off, you're gonna to wanna to talk directly to the girl that you're interested in in the group. Examples of a girl's friends trying to interfere would be if the friend said, sorry, we're lesbians, she can't talk to you. Or we made a rule that we can't talk to guys tonight. Okay, what you would do in these situations is smile and in a casual, no big deal way, introduce yourself to the friend and tell her that you want to talk to her friend and your cool demeanor will pass the blocking friends test. And so we went through that one, approaching a beautiful woman using my eight principles that are guaranteed to send women into an attraction frenzy. Now let's talk about the second one, which is an insanely simple attraction process. First, you approach a beautiful woman using the pillars of opening that we already discussed, right? Then step two starts off with finding out information about the girl's situation to assess the probability of her coming home with you. So a high probability situation would be a girl all by herself that lost her friends. A low probability situation would be a girl who is there with her boyfriend. Now I've taken girls home before that are in low probability situations, but it's very, very difficult and there's always a ton of hot girls in the world. So why waste your time with the low probability situations? Instead, focus on a girl who has a high chance of being taken home, okay? You also are going to be escalating physically so that she doesn't put you in the dreaded friend zone, right? I don't know about you guys, but I hated being in the friend zone and you avoid that simply by being physical, which shows you are interested in being more than friends. Does that make sense? Physical escalation refers to your body coming into contact with her body. This includes holding her hand, having your arm around her back or her arm around your neck, kissing, making out, holding her in close, etc. okay? Being physical throughout the interaction will allow you to continue the man to woman frame that you set at the start of the interaction when you opened physically. Remember that part? It also puts sex on the table for later on if you go home together and increases the probability that she will comply to go home with you to begin with. Okay, that's because touching, making out, etc., will turn the girl on and raise her compliance and odds that she'll want to sleep with you. And simultaneously, you're going to be planning the idea of taking her home later. This is called seeding the pole. It sets the frame that the two of you will be hanging out later on at your place. Okay, you should be seeding the pole very early on in the interaction, okay, usually within the first minute. Now, if you remember back in step one about opening, I explained how being physical early on sets the frame as a sexual interaction. The same principle applies here. By seeding the pole, you're setting the frame from the beginning that the two of you will be hanging out later at your place. So it's a good idea to seed the pole along with asking the logistical questions. As you seed the pole, you should be talking about the pole as if we're already agreed upon, as if you already set plans. For example, if you're inviting her back to play beer pong, you're not going to ask, do you want to come back and play beer pong? Instead, you're going to ask, are you good at beer pong? And tell her that she can be on your team later if she says yes. If she says she's not good at beer pong, you can respond, that's okay, I'm good, so I'll carry the team. All right, now setting these frames is going to get a lot of yeses, which ultimately lead to getting the girl. So how do you actually close the girl? I'm gonna show you how to implement the right systems and processes to close women on autopilot, so you can actually have a life, all right? Spoiler alert, most people teach this the wrong way, okay? Now guys, pay close attention to what I'm gonna tell you next. One of the biggest mistakes is to take a woman's objections to going home with you as an indication that she is not interested and giving up immediately. It is normal in almost every instance for a woman who is interested in you to give these token objections. All right, it stops most guys dead in their tracks, but being equipped to deal with them properly gives you a big advantage in ultimately getting the girl. So the secret to closing the girl, guys, is super, super simple. If a logistical situation is favorable to going home with you and you are able to overcome her objections, then you would proceed to leave the venue with her and hook up. In all other cases, you would frame a meetup for a date at a later time and take your phone number. All right, now it's really as simple as that. Now guys, while there are 14 main objections for the girl to go home with you, we don't have time in this webinar to cover all 14, so I'm only gonna go over the top three. So the first and most common objection is the girl saying that she can't leave her friends. I've tested all sorts of responses, and the one that works the best is replying with, I can't leave my friends either. A bunch of my friends are here, so I have to come back. Keep in mind, this is the answer you would give in the first half of the night. For the second half of the night, you would tell her that she can text her friends the address and they can meet up with her later. Another major objection is that the girl has to be up early. This can happen on weekdays when the girl has work or other activities going on. All right, so you would answer this by saying, what time do you have to be up? The girl will give you a time and then you tell her that you have to be up one hour earlier than whatever she said. Okay, so you would say, that's not an excuse. Just come for half an hour and I'll kick you out after that. Haha. <laughs> Make sense, guys? All right, now the third and last objection I'll go over with you today is if she says, what if you're a murderer or a serial killer? All right, this comes from girls watching too much CSI. <laughs> so you should respond with something funny and playful like, haha, damn, you have me all figured out already. 
all right? She knows you're not actually a murderer. She wants to see that you're cool and normal. So you don't want to become defensive or upset, okay? She needs to see that you're comfortable and relaxed in order to go anywhere with you. So it's simple. If you learn how to close effectively, you will get beautiful women on autopilot. Let me show you the proof of this, right? So William, he said he gets over eight new girls a month and he's achieving the sex life he's always wanted. He's an amazing guy. He's a cop. He says the biggest thing I would say for those that are getting started is to learn how to answer objections properly when trying to take home the girl. Once I got competent with handling these token objections, my results literally doubled overnight. You got this. Here we go again. Sam Peterson, right? This is my friend from college. This is from back when I first started coaching, right? October 15th, 2012. And he even said it back then. He said, if you learn how to close, the biggest difference this month was closing all the girls I went on dates with. So if you get good at closing, you're good to go. Okay. Here's another thing. Morton, one of my boys, I love Morton. He said, it is rare to not take a girl home from a date now. And I usually take the girl home within an hour of meeting up with her. I've also taken several girls home within five to 10 minutes of meeting them in nightclubs. This is coming from a guy who was a virgin at 25 and had no success the first two years of dating. These people that I just showed you put out all the fires, right? They approach beautiful women using my eight principles guaranteed to send women into an attraction frenzy. They use an insanely simple attraction process. They implemented the right systems and processes to close women on autopilot. And now they're getting a whole lot of women. I showed you all this, right? Rick gets five girls a month. Krishna has been with over 200 women. Loris is getting three new women a month. William gets more than eight girls per month. Jason found his dream girlfriend who he later married. Ron went from a virgin to 47 new girls in six months. Christopher is sleeping with over 100 a year. Aaron has been with seven new women in four weeks. Okay, guys, the hard way to do this is to just look through all of the fire extinguishers and just hope that this one will be the one that can put out those three fires. This is the one that will teach me how to put out those three fires. Because all you have to do is put out the three fires, but there's so many options. There's so many courses. There's so many gurus. There's so many just things trying to teach you how to do this, right? There's only one, two, or maybe three that will ever work. So, but the easy way is to just get the one that works, that shows you the formula to put out the fires and to get the girl or girls that you want. So who of you wants a predictable dating system that teaches you how to meet, attract, and close two, five, even 10 amazing women every single month? Anybody out there want it? Anybody want that? Because guys, what I'm doing is I'm going to look for some people who are interested in this. And this is perfect for guys who want to have a dating system that actually gets them girls they want and doesn't just waste all of your time and money. Okay, It's also perfect for you if you want to improve your existing dating skills and results if you already have some. So if you're already meeting girls, this is also perfect for you. And then reduce your mistakes and reduce your effort. So if you reduce your mistakes, you don't have to work as hard. That's one of the biggest things I notice is that people are choosing the wrong fire extinguishers. They're making mistakes and they're growing the fire instead of diminishing the fire. And that way their workload goes up. So right now I'm opening this up to some new clients, a very limited number, which I'll get to in a second, but I have the clients that are doing so well. That's Claudio up in the corner. That's Mark on the right. That's Josh in the top right. These people are my favorite people. Okay. These are my dream clients. They're so easy to work with, right? They come in. I work with them one-on-one, -on -one. they grow their dating life, they have amazing success, and I get to tell everyone about it, and it's a win-win for everyone, right? But the thing is, I'm only looking for a certain number of, certain select few people that can actually meet these criteria and can actually improve their dating life like these people have, right? So there's three types of clients. Those who just want to get the girls they want and don't know where to start, which could be you. Those who love the idea of having multiple options with women, and those who already have some dating skills and need help growing, okay? And this is fine too if you're looking for just a girlfriend or wife, the same skills and principles apply. All right, but I just want to do a quick caveat with these three guys. You've got to be serious. You can't be completely broke. You can't have all these things. Okay. You can't be just exploring. You need to want seriously want to get beautiful girls and then be seriously ready to put the work in. Okay. These are the only clients that will ever, ever have any success, right? Here's how the process works. I'm going to get to that in two seconds, but first off, who is this for? This is for hopeful, serious. I say hopeful slash serious men who understanding that acquiring seduction skills is not just like some walk in the park, right? They realize that there is some work and some effort that you put in. If you're a hopeful ladies man, but also a serious one who understands what it takes, then this is for you. If you get some girls already, whether it be through online dating, clubs, or other means, then this is for you as well, okay? People who know that they are good at what they do and believe that they can dominate the dating game and predictably sleep with five to 10 new girls a month and land their dream girl if they wish. Okay, this is really important. If you don't believe that you can do it, if you don't believe you can get those five to 10 new girls every month, then you'll never even get close. And that is really, really important, right? People who truly love women and respect them above all else. We want real decent men. We don't want guys who are just jerks and want to use women. We want guys that want to make a change and value their women, right? And understand that they will have some skin in the game, right? You have to invest time, energy, efforts, and money to be successful with women. You should know that going into this. This is not for guys who are completely broke. Sorry. 
If you don't have a dollar, if you don't have $100, this is not for you. If you want to be a master at this and play in the big leagues, you cannot be broke. You need to make some money first and then come back to me. People will make excuses and complain. If you're one of those people that make a ton of excuses that just loves to make up all these reasons why you can't do it, this is wrong for you. Okay, People who are stuck in the information gathering mode and who are not prepared to get results. If you're just out there looking through ebooks, buying courses, not actually trying to do something with your life, not trying to actually get beautiful women, this is not for you. Okay, People who are not serious about growing the results to 1 to 10 new women per month. Like if you're not serious about improving your dating results to that level, and you just want to get like one average to below average girl here and another one there, you want to get just enough to keep the loneliness at bay or give your right hand a break once in a while. I mean, that's just kind of lame. You need to have a mindset that's a lot higher than that to work with me. Okay? So this is a personal, custom-tailored, one-on-one strategy. Now, knowing that we're a good fit is crucial because I really like to get all of our clients these results. I need our clients to get results and work with them for the long term. And to do that, I need to get them a quick return on their investment. And the truth is, there are some people that I cannot help. And if that's the case, I'm going to be 100% upfront with you and suggest somebody else or an alternative. Okay? I'm not just I'm not going to work with you if it's not going to work. Okay? I'm only looking for those that are a good fit and then who I'm certain that I can actually get these results for, right? So the first step is to complete an application for a private strategy session, which is right below on the button below. And this application is seriously necessary. We needed to determine whether you're a good fit, that I can help you, and that I'm the best person to help you. And then number two is to determine that you're actually determined to step up, commit, take action, and do the required work to generate the results that I'm talking about. So now, once I receive your application, you're going to be able to schedule a time with me to conduct your strategy session. And this is where we're going to start working together to figure out what you want and how to make it happen in the fastest time possible and with predictability, right? And at the end of this call, we're going to want to do one of two things. We're either going to be a good fit and I'm going to extend an invitation to work with me as one of my clients, or it's not going to be a good fit. And that's okay too. But there's no hard feelings, no obligations or anything, right? Either way, you're going to receive a really valuable strategy session that you will walk away from with newfound clarity on where you are right now and also what's holding you back from achieving those results that you want. This, together with those steps that are necessary to take action to break through your barrier, okay? So not only am I going to give you this valuable strategy session where we figure out if we can work well together, I'm also going to just give you some stuffs that you can do regardless of whether we work well together that's going to be super valuable. I promise you this will be the most valuable 30 minutes you invest in yourself and your dating life all year long, okay guys? So go ahead and complete that application right below and we'll see if it's a good fit. So right now, we actually have over 100 candidates applying for this in the last 30 days. So this space is honestly really, really limited. We need some intense one-on-one -on -one time in order to get these results to happen. So we have to limit it because our time is so valuable. I only work with clients who I know can certainly, and I mean certainly, get the results of women that we want them to get. Out of every 100 that apply, we generally only work with five of those clients at a time. And right now, only three of those spots are filled up, right? So there's only two left, right? It's so only two left. Three of those spots are filled up. So with that being said, please understand that this window of opportunity is not going to be available for long. And what we found is that people who have the ability to make decisions and act quickly are the most likely to get results. All right, so those people that can actually make a snap decision, make a decision to change their life, are the ones that are going to get the results. They are the most likely to become my next clients and crush it for years to come. So if you feel like this is right for you, go ahead, apply right now to see if you qualify, and then go ahead and follow the instructions on the next page. Okay? This is a really time-sensitive thing, guys. This opportunity is not going to be open for long at all. So go below right now and click and see if you qualify. See if you can apply to work with me. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click below right now if you're an action taker and if you're ready to change your life. Okay, I'll see you guys soon.